Mm -hmm. Myra, thanks. Well, getting back to what was going to be our lead story earlier today, an honor denied and now an honor delayed. The group that has refused to put a murdered Tosa police officer on a spot on a law enforcement memorial is not ready to reconsider that decision. And people are livid about this. They feel like Officer Jennifer Sabina is being snubbed all over again. And tonight, the governor is getting involved. Ben Handelman, he's live with all of the new developments today. Good evening, and we were told this decision came after some heated and at sometimes personal debate among board members in Washington, D.C. This decision means there won't be any decision until 2014. Essentially, it delays that whole process, and there is outrage coming reaction from all over the country. He is the man accused of taking her life. A decision Thursday in Washington, D.C. has many saying he may be taking more from his wife. A board in Washington is holding off for an entire year on a decision whether or not to include slain Wauwatosa officer Jennifer Sabina's name on a national memorial honoring fallen officers. We're disgusted. The news released by Wisconsin's largest police union, the Wisconsin Professional Police Association. We think that uh, this, you know, they're trying to simply put off uh, what is a, a, an extraordinarily important question. Officer Sabina was killed on duty Christmas Eve day, the suspect, her husband. Initially, the law enforcement officer Memorial rejected the Sabina application. The reason given, she died during a domestic situation. It's not uncommon for officers who, for example, have a heart attack while they're working uh, to be honored and included on the wall. The WPPA called the decision baffling. Thousands signed an online petition, and groups are calling Thursday's decision to delay hurtful. We're seeing this wait and see, which feels very much like political banter to me. Sherry Griffin of the Women's Resource Center in Racine says the decision to delay not only hurts Sabina's family, but all victims of domestic violence. Domestic violence victims um, should not be distinguished from anybody else. And the Women's Resource Center here in Racine says they're not going to let this issue die either. Does the WPPA, who says if necessary, they're going to lobby as high up as the White House? We're live in Racine tonight. Ben Handelman, Fox 6 News. That we're high up for sure. Thank you. And we've got more on something we mentioned a moment ago. Governor Scott Walker did send a letter today to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund. And in it, he asked that the group reconsider its original decision to not put her name on that wall. He says, and I quote, Officer Sabina was protecting the citizens of Wauwatosa. It should not matter who committed the murder as the act was taken against a police officer on duty, unquote. Making it harder for felons to get guns. That's what.